There are two storylines to this game. There's Toxa, and there's Lacrima. They have entirely different stories. Um, the stories do interweave, so... Probably what we're going to be doing is playing through one story till the end, and then maybe we'll play through the other story. Another way you could do it is you could play kind of swapping back and forth, getting one chapter at a time, to kind of see what's happening in both sides. Um, we're not going to do that because... well, I don't know, maybe we will. Um, either way, I believe we're going to be starting with Lacrima, and if, you're, uh, if you've noticed this art, it might look quite familiar to you, because this is by uh, Yoshitaka Amano, the artist known mostly for Final Fantasy, doing a lot of the concept art. Um, it was pointed out at the time that, you know, rather than use his concept art to make the characters, they more or less just scanned his art directly <laughs> into the game, which is interesting. Um, so as a result, we're going to be seeing a lot of his art. Um, so I think what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and start with Lacrima. Year 1043, the Nordia Imperial Encryptor School. Go to Pentagram tomorrow. Is everything ready for Mona? The Cardinal will tell you what to do. Meaning, once we're out of the Pentagram, we're on our own. You have to understand the situation he's in. We don't know when he will switch sides. However, it is not wise to turn on him yet. We're using him as long as he is of value. That's correct. We have to go through Crossland when we take Mona. That country is not under our control. Do you have any people available that can take Mona? We can't move our soldiers. Don't tell me you're going to use the thieves instead. The Knights of the Allied Forces are heading towards Nordia. While security is low, the thieves will be fine. Mona is key to Eden. Her security is of top priority. If you're still worried, then I'll assign one of my own. Lord Vandor, please assign the mission to me. N no, I will assign Misty. Prepare yourself, Misty. Yes, sir. Lord Vandor, why did you choose her? She can't create phantoms, but I can. Why? Misty knows how to deal with the thieves. I want you to go to Idaris and meet up with Cross. Yes, my lord. Why not her? Are you getting soft on her? She's one of my staff. It's not like that. And I thought you were raising them on behalf of your daughter. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to have to have her retire. The rumor of the disease is true. She won't tell anyone, but I know. Do you remember the day that you adopted them? How could I forget that day? It's been more than ten years, yet I can recall that day. I feel the same way. You said you wanted the original human Cardia. You said you wanted my help in creating, creating Eden. The results will come soon as long as we work together. The Eden project is just a matter of time. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. Actually, our civilization wouldn't have come this far. Who deciphered the text? Who found the alternate material from the world tree? Mithril and silk is cheaper. We did all this. We invented the Phantom Cardia. We introduced Cardia to everyday life. We did all this. Stop. We're, we're about to start. The world will change, Vandor. This unknown Cardia will strengthen our purpose. People don't rely on these advancements for happiness. 
What are you talking about, Vandor? Don't you see what we've accomplished? The result is obvious. Mithril and Silk have freed us from depending on the World Tree. Rebus is entering a new era. It's too early to be happy. Pentagram will send Inquirers to kill us. The war will begin then. Inquirers, the most powerful hunters in Rebus. Um, but that's why you're here. You can count on me. I've done all I can for now. All I can do is pray. But you're an atheist. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'll pray for your daughter. I'll set up the opportunity for you to reunite with your daughter. That is my gift to you. I never asked for that. It's been 12 years. She should be grown up. She should be as beautiful as Shell. Crossland. Vigilance. Your Excellency, we're ready. Let's go. Lacrima, take care of everything while I'm gone. Please be careful. Lacrima, the new guy. Could you take care of it at headquarters until I return? Yes, sir. I will take care of Vigilance while you're gone. Great. Look after Pasha as well. As you wish. God, please look after them. Episode 2, Chapter 1, Meeting. It's too quiet. I guess the tomboy is out. Good morning, Troy. Are you sad that Alana's not here? What are you talking about? By the way, where's Rimzen? On the way to Pentagram. He's guarding the bishop. By the way, aren't you off today? I'm covering for Rimzan. By the way, you're late. No rest for Lacrima until our leader returns. I respect you. Kissing my butt doesn't change anything. Why are you late? Only by three minutes. I'm taking the water cardia. We have to conserve those. Rimzan already warned you. Cardia exists to be used, hence a resource. So, why were you late? I was deciphering text at the encryptor school. You're only serious when it relates to Cardia. I want the unlimited license by this year. That's higher than the advanced license. Everyone's an encryptor these days. I understand what you mean, but you're late. I want you to make it up by making Cardia. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, boss lady. So one of those two coming back. They should be back as soon as the festival ends. If Pentagram has money, they should use it for text research. By the way, we will have more Cardia. The World Tree is used for Cardia. What good will it do to lose the World Tree? I think it's stupid to spend money on the World Tree. Our present lifestyle is based on the power of Cardia. In the past, the World Tree was the only material used for Cardia. That was then. There are now cheaper materials. Some cardia can only be made with the World Tree. World Tree cardia has nothing to do with everyday life. World Tree cardia is impractical. The World Tree protects and provides for Rebus. Enough with the druid legend. People with no faith can't possibly comprehend. There she goes again. She's all fired up when she talks about religion. I'd better change the subject. By the way, when's the new recruit coming? Maybe today. He's still a trainee. That's great. Why is that? 
Orium Zan is guarding the bishop, Alana and Durin are gone. The knights are also gone, with only the two of us. Two? What about Pasha? I'm talking about people who can fight. Don't say that. Besides, fighting is not everything. When it comes down to fighting, she hinders us. That's not tr That's not true. I always make up for her mistakes. See? She's dragging us down. Town of Canus. Marketplace. It should be around here. Oh, excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for Vigilance Headquarters. Do you know where it is? Yes, I do. Why? I'm looking for Chief Rimzen. Why do you ask? You must be Kuhn, a new member of the Vigilance. Why do you know my name? Are you a member? Yes, my name is Pasha. I'll take you to Headquarters. I would never have guessed. What? Rimzen told me that vigilance work is very dangerous. I never knew a girl would be in vigilance. You're right. Huh? I can't do anything right. I'm useless. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. I'm not good with a sword. I only have a beginner's license. I'm a burden to everyone. What was that? Help! Somebody help! Mr. Lau, are you okay? Those damn phantoms. They appeared and started to destroy my place. Phantoms? That's right. It's okay to create phantoms here. And Pasha, I heard you are now a member of Vigilance. Will you take care of the phantoms for me? But I... I can't kill phantoms. I don't know how strong they are, but now's the chance to make up for what I said. Sir, is there anyone else left inside? There's a few customers. Sir, if you could go to Vigil's headquarters and get help, I'll get the others out. Wh what? Could you get the people outside? I'll take care of the phantoms. But but you're not a member yet. That has nothing to do with it. People need help. That sounded pretty cool. Now to really show off. Take care of phantoms. Will he be okay? Everyone, outside! Good. Now that all that's left are the phantoms. But they're dangerous. We should wait for backup. I'm pretty good with a sword. How strong could a phantom be? Um, is this your first time fighting phantoms? This is my first time seeing one. They're not allowed in my country. Oh, no. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't even know that a common type is stronger than a doll type. Pasha, are you okay? Thank God you're here. Are you two from Vigilance? Yes, but who are you? I'm the new recruit, Kuhn. I'm here to help you with these phantoms. Thanks, it'll be helpful. Troy, create the phantoms. Oh, wait, let me come catch my breath first. We need them now. Okay, okay. There are six phantom miles. Common, doll, and shadow type. First, common type, the natural enemy of the doll type. Hey, rookie, don't just stand there. Help me create phantoms. Who, me? Of course, doll is stronger than shadow. Common is stronger than doll. How can we win with only common miles? But, but I, I don't know how. Troy, just create the phantoms. Oh, man. What should I do? Just don't get killed. Phantoms can be replaced, but humans are different. Town of Canis, pub.
Victory condition is kill the wild phantoms. Alright, so now we're going to enter to the game proper. So as you've noticed, um, every mission is predicated by a series of... Wait, how do I... How do I change the angle here? Can I... I feel like we're I feel like we're much more top down than we should be. Something about config maybe. I can turn the ground level on. Let's go ahead and do. We'll just leave all this stuff on. Oh, there we go. Quarter. That's better. Ah, much better. Okay. Yeah, so um, this game is a tactics RPG. We've got a bunch of people, and we've got some phantoms. In terms of the previous chapter that we just went through, um, you know, we've been introduced to our different characters. We've got Lacrima. Let's go ahead and take a look at her. She is the main character of this storyline, and she is a spirit... Uh, spirit guardian... Spirit Priestess, something like that. She has a maximum number of Cardia combination of three. We're gonna see what that means. This is Troy. Troy is the best character in the game. Um, he's the smart Alec comic relief, but he also is uh, super smart and awesome. He can do a maximum Cardia combination of four, and he has the ability to create phantoms. This is going to make him super useful in pretty much all circumstances. We've got Kuhn. Uh, he is our new recruit. He's pretty dumb, but uh, he does have a stone sword. He can, he can equip uh, level C equipment, as seen in the bottom left. Um, so you have one weapon and three types of armor, hat, armor, and feet. Uh, based on your equip rank, you can equip different levels. So he, you know, he can equip good equipment, but he only can cast Cardia with a combination of one. Which is not that great. And then of course we have Pasha, who is bad at everything. She has a level E equipment, which is the lowest level you can get, uh, and she can only do up to Cardia level 2. Um, just, just not that exciting. So in terms of magic ability, it's Troy, Lacrima, Pasha, Kuhn. In terms of fighting ability, it's probably Kuhn, Lacrima, Troy, and Pasha. So Pasha really is one of the worst characters. But, you know, that's, uh, that's just what it is. In this game, we have to um, meet whatever requirements there are. And the requirements are killing, uh, in this case, all the enemies. Pretty simple. Sometimes we might have a slightly different mission. Additionally, we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this game versus normal. Which is that we're going to go ahead and run a script. We just ran it. You didn't see it happen, but uh, it happened. And what's going to happen here is, let's see... You know, actually, we, m we might want the, um, the top-down view. Let's try that. I'm sure it's fine. You can see a little bit better. You'll lose some of the, um, some of the depth. I think it's okay. I wish we could zoom out. It seems like we can't zoom out, though. So let's go ahead and give magic a try. So there's, uh, what is this, ten kinds of magic? We're gonna have plenty of time to look at this, but we're gonna start with, um, probably this. Which is a flame magic. And since she can use two pieces of cardia, two cards, we can combine them in different ways. So, right here, it doesn't matter which we use, we will use up two pieces of silk, um, and we will get a flame plus one. We can also just directly cast flame without combining it. Uh, and it will hit right there, but that'll hit our own unit. 
so we might want to move this guy first. So let's just move him and wait. Same thing with our doll. Um, let's see. So doll is strong against... Okay, common is strong against doll. Right? Have I messed this up? I think common is strong against doll. Doll is strong against shadow. Shadow is strong against common. So considering there are two shadows over here, let's go ahead and send our doll this way. There's a recovery point there. Let's see. We're gonna have Troy run up as far as possible and create a phantom. There's no reason not to. Yeah, so here we go. Common is strong against Dull. Dull is strong against Shadow. And Shadow is strong against Common. Let's go ahead and make a... I don't know, let's make a Shadow. So we can make a Kiao, or we can make a Shadow Miles. Kiao only costs one a piece of Cardia, and Shadow Miles costs two. We have a bunch of different stats. Um, every cow is the same no matter which uh, you use. But if we do this, we can also mix. Again, he has a limit of four. And so we can say, mix that with flame. We'll give him some fire resistance. Water will give that. Wind, quake, etc. Strong means he can equip level C equipment instead of uh, D. Sharp will make him uh, slightly faster. He gets a speed of 10, which I think is his dodge rating. Fast is actually movement speed, so I like fast personally. Hard is armor rating. Uh, and you can't do goblin. So we'll go ahead and do... I don't know. Sharp? No. Strong. We'll do strong. So we can equip level C weapons. Now, let's do lo level D armor. Um, is what he's allowed to do. Let's go ahead and create it right over here. So this is how you summon additional units into the game. I believe him and La uh, Lacrima cannot. Yeah, only he can create units. So what Lacrima is going to do is just go ahead and cast this area effect spell right here. Burn down these barrels. And I got a new text. What kind of text is that? Okay, so now it's probably a good time to introduce um, what hack I'm using in the game. I'm using a Cardia Randomizer. Um, and this Cardia Randomizer will change the order of what prizes are where. So there would normally be a, ran a specific item in that barrel, but now there's a random item. And the random item I got was man. Um, oh, that seems... That seems important. Weren't they talking at the beginning of the game about a man cardia? Um, huh. And I can combine that with uh, this thing over here, which is axe. Maybe it wasn't man. Maybe it was um, human instead of man. So I can make a man axe. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go to weapon creation. And here's an axe class weapon. You can make a level D axe, which is a wood axe. But because I have access to Troy, I can add uh, most three here. So let's go ahead and make a man axe. 
Hmm. Just gets plus one. I can also do a hard axe and a fast axe. So I can go up to plus three. Uh, if I use strong, that actually gives plus two to the axe. So that's better. So we can go up to a plus four wooden axe. Nothing too exciting with that man quite yet. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and make that. Yeah, let's continue creating some weapons. And again, we can equip level D equipment. So why not create some axes? Could also create some swords. Right now we're using up a lot of random cardia. Let's go ahead and make some gear. So we can make a headgear. Strong in this case just gives a plus one. So we can make a plus three wooden helmet. Seems fine. Can also make an armor. Sure, plus three wooden armor. And let's go ahead and make a foot gear. So as you can tell, a majority of the game, uh, and what makes this game interesting versus other tactics RPGs, is the spell system. All equipment is created using this system. Uh, and can we equip this guy? Can't equip him right now, we have to wait for his turn. Uh, I guess she'll just wait. And we have Kuhn. Um, he's actually already got equipment. But sure, let's give him a hat. Let's give him let's give him a whole bunch of equipment, in fact. Okay, so we're done with turn one. Let's go ahead and do a phase change. Now, one thing we're going to want, believe it or not, is a cow. Why do I want a cow? I want a cow that is fast, which has plus movement. Fat, or fast and hard? No. Fast and... Uh, it can't wear any equipment. So there's not much point in uh, giving it any defenses, but sure. We'll give it some defense. Like I said, Troy is amazing. He's awesome. He's going to do our job very nicely. We're going to try not to run out of equip <laughs> out of silk on the on the first round here. Um, I think she'll just go over here and wait. Okay, so we have a common miles. Shadow is strong against common. So here we can see, uh, yeah, 96% chance of hitting, and we'll hit for 70 versus receiving 3 on the backswing. So, 
you really want to pay attention to rock, paper, scissors here. Makes a huge difference. Probably want to uh, create some equipment for him. Yeah, so these guys can't actually wear body armor because I guess they have those spikes. So let's just make some foot gear. Ooh, and we're uh, we're starting to run out of uh, silk, so we might want to hold back on that for a little bit. Gonna be plenty of time to get this guy. Ooh, uh, he's not. He can't actually equip that. All right. Yep. Forgot. He's not the one that uh, has the higher defense rating. It's this one. Let's get him equipped. He also can't do it. Wait. I'm just misremembering. Alright. So none of those guys can do it. That's fine. I think this is the one. There we go. Plus four, plus three, and plus three. Here we have Pasha. Um, Pasha can come over here. And let's go ahead and use um, this one. Roll for distance attack. And let's bust open this treasure chest. Uh, we got the text for stone, I believe that is. Uh, my Japanese is not super great. So let's take a look. Uh, in fact, that is stone. So that actually is in order. I think usually you get them roughly in order. Um, so the fact that that's our second one, it's not, not a big surprise. We're expected to have that at this point in the game. Go ahead and turn over. So why am I playing with Randomizer? Well, the reason I'm doing it is I've played this game, I mean a fair bit. I've never beaten it, but I've played most of the game multiple times. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, this might be the time I decide to actually finish it and find out how the game ends. So. I thought I'd just make the lead-up to the end of the game a lot more interesting for myself. And it's kind of interesting to see um, how the game changes when you have random spells available to you instead of the expected ones. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, so she can reach there, but it's not pretty. Whereas Troy is amazing. Oh wait, I hit end turn on him. No! Sorry Troy, I wasted your turn. Alright, common is strong against dull. Let's see if Lacrima can reach that spot. No, she can't do it either. Alright, well... 
Poor Troy. He had, he had had a great opportunity to hit three guys at once. And while Kuhn can cast spells, he can only really use one piece of Cardia. Let's just bash something in the face. Um, Shadow, strong against common. Now, Lacrima does want to get over here and hit those barrels. Let's see, what is this guy weak against? Uh, he's weak against water. So let's go ahead and try to water magic. Uh, which I believe would be ice. Fast ice. Strong and sharp ice. There we go. We can do vertical ice. Um, which, we actually have that spell already. I think we'll just cast uh, normal ice. We want to... Try to save up some magic. We used a whole bunch to create equipment. Alright, now we have a cow. Cow can run pretty far. Let me see. So the best way to get experience is doing attacks. And specifically getting kills. If you don't get a kill, you don't accomplish very much. Um, so Dahl will be strong against Shadow. Pasha is still back here. Sorry, Pasha. Forgot about you. Um, technically, you can cast magic. But not really. Because everybody's in the way. Um, she might be able to kill that thing, actually. Let's, let's see if we can do it. Uh, because the boulder does have the ability to roll, oh, there will be no effect. Yeah, because this is a destructible space. You can't put the boulder on the desk. All right, just wait. Her movement speed is also lower than everyone else. That's like another issue with her. All right, we're done with this turn. getting in for damage. Okay. Lacrima, we're gonna need you all the way up here. Casting Flame. Ooh. She can't quite hit everything. Let me see if there's a different spell she can cast. Maybe... Uh, vertical ice. She needs distance on it, though. Shadow. Strong. Hmm. I can make slime water. Yeah, 
Yeah, spirit water, med medicine water, slime water. Thunder. Strong wind is fairly promising, but it's still not enough range. Oh, here we go. Earthquake. That one will reach. Wait, there will be no effect. Um, oh. Target will be destroyed by fire, flame, or thunder. Alright. Well, so that makes it pretty easy. We just have to use flame. No choice. Got a new text. I have no idea what that is. That is mold. Mold, I believe, is used for medicine magic. Okay. Let's check out this beautiful cow. Can the cow get a kill? Probably not. So if you wanted to, you could grind your cow here. Help it get some levels. But there's no real point to that. The cow is not going to have much purpose beyond the level after this. We're just creating it for now. Now, I could kill all this stuff, but I'm a little bit hesitant. Yeah, Troy cannot uh, get close enough. We can make a phantom, though. But I don't think we want to. We'll just wait. To be honest, I think we just run away for now. Oh, there's some barrels back here, huh? Well, we want to blow up those barrels just in case there's goodies inside of them. I don't remember if there is. Okay, let's go ahead and end phase. Oh no, they're running away. That's just as well. With five silk left, uh, we should be able to finish opening these barrels before finishing. Beast shoes. Um, okay. Are beast shoes good? I don't know. I have a feeling like, I don't know, can Kuhn reach? He actually can. Despite being really bad at magic, he can still cast the most basic kind of magic, so let's go ahead and open these. Um, got that. And what is that? Ooh. It's another pretty high silk one. It's called Small. And that's used for... What was that? That was axes. I think that's swords. 
So you can make a small sword. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Or sorry, no, it's, it's a small weak axe, or a small hammer. Let's try mixing that with small. Yeah, that's all it does. It doesn't seem to really be any better. So, no benefit for that yet. Maybe we'll get some other stuff that will combo with it. But for now, we'll just be happy that we received something. Yeah, I was gonna get a kill. Nice. Yeah, let's just wait. We just have to chase down these two units. the wrong combo. There we go. Did we get all of them? Check if there isn't any of them left. I think we got them all. This side's clear. You two, don't allow the spectators to look in. Troy, take a look at this. I found something. She sure knows how to run the group. She's tough. You better watch out. So we get the stage clear. We get some stats. We took zero damage? Wow. We get a text. We get the Miles Boots. As a boots that are specifically for our Miles Phantoms. Um, nobody else can wear them, I think. The only clue is this one piece of cardia. It'll be hard to find out who did this. I'll do whatever it takes. I won't forgive who did this. We kept the damage to a minimum. We did great. Can you fix the shop before Alana comes back? <laughs> do I look like a carpenter? All the people are safe. That's great. Thank you, Pasha. You did great. I... Don't spoil her, Lacrima. Anyone can usher people to safety. You're right. That was a mean thing to say. Shut up, you don't know anything. What? Stop it, Troy, what's your problem? Relax, a little drink will make me happy. Don't be offended, Kuhn. He's always like that. No problem. Our job is done. Let's head back to the headquarters. My name is Kuhn. I'm from Vesta. I don't know much about Cardia, but I'm good with a sword. I'm the Encryptor Troy. I know everything about Cardia. And this beautiful lady here is Lacrima. She was anointed as a shrine warrior when she was 18. Wow. She's also the daughter of Canis. Troy, stop. Canis? Is, that's the same name as the town. He was the greatest shrine warrior. He's legendary. I would love to meet him someday. My father died when I was little. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Someday I'll tell you about him. 
Troy, introduce Pasha. I think you already know Pasha. I hope you two get along. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Did you know Rimzan is also the head of the knights? I didn't know. But now I know why he told me to come here. There are two other members. One's a tomboy, and the other's a square-headed warrior. They'll be back this week. A tomboy and a square-headed warrior? I'm not gonna help you when they find out. How will they know? Anyway, let's get going. Where to? The people are throwing a thank you party for us. They don't have to. You'd better enjoy it while you can. Don't drink too much, Pasha. And come back before it gets too dark. What about you? There's something I want to check in on. Let me help. Thanks, but I can handle this. But... She's addicted to work. Just leave her alone. Don't worry about me. Have fun. I feel bad going to a party like this. You shouldn't. Besides, you're the hero. Should I... Bring something back for you? I'm fine. Thanks anyway. Don't work too hard, Lacrima. I'll be fine. Enjoy the party. This cardia is different from the others we have. I'll have to find out which school published this. No, I'm a shrine warrior. I can't take care of you. Beings created by cardia are considered heathen. You poor baby. I wonder where the bishop is now. Dear Master, I safely made it to Canis, the town of the border of Idris and Crossland. Unfortunately, I found out Sir Rimzin was absent. Therefore, I haven't been anointed as a knight. I was astonished to know that Canis casually create phantoms. In Vesta, we are forbidden to create such things. A particular phantom called Kiao produces strings. People here will use the strings to create cardia. People in this country are using phantoms for their everyday life. But phantoms can be dangerous at times. In fact, the day I came to town, one of the townspeople was attacked by a phantom. I ended up saving them. I will write to you again. This is the time for Vesta's seasons to change. Please take care of yourself. Your son, Kun Vine. Kun in Japanese means boy, basically. And that's what he is. He's a little boy uh, trying to play with the big leagues. All right, so that is the end of this chapter. And next time, I think we will return and continue with another chapter. And I will see you then.